Hello and welcome back to another video on Multitextberg. In this video we are going to explore how to use this AOC or active optical cable inside of my PFSense system. So what we have here is that we have this one connector, right, which is an SFP. This SFP breaks out into four different connectors. So this one SFP is the 100 gig link, 100 gig SFP, and these are 25 gig. So how does that work? Well, these four 25 gigs, okay, 4x25, right, become that 100. So what does that mean? Well, this 100 gig is split into four lanes of 25. So that's the mathematical conclusion as to how this cable works, right? Okay. So, I mentioned it's going to be used in PFSense, right? This active optical cable. And uh, for the link type, this is QSFP28. And then these are, all SF these are all just generic SFPs, okay? So that's QSFP28 going into four different SFPs. Okay, so in terms of the PFSense setup, okay, my PFSense box is down here. So this PFSense box, what it does is, well, it does all my DHCP, it does my DNS, it does all of that stuff, right? And there's a card at the back, right, which is this one here, which is my E810, which I've mentioned in previous videos, and I have two slots free in this one, right? But my thought process is, well, if I want to make use of that full 100 gigabytes, I need to make sure that I have another card in here which can support it, and luckily I have another E810 which can do that, but it needs to be inside of the system. So what I'll need to do is shut it down in order for that to happen. Okay, so what do we do now? We have one part of the system up and running, which is the 425 gig lanes, but not the 100 QSFP lane, right? That breakout that we talked about. So how does that work? Well, in my system, the way it will work is that there is a switch over here. Okay, this is my switch. And then this is a seven... A 7280TR-48C6. Okay, let me zoom. Let me zoom in on that for you. Come on, focus. There we go. That's the one. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's my Arista. Now this has six QSFP28 100 gig ports. So that's 40, from 49 all the way to 54. So what I'll be doing is connecting the QSFP28 into port number 49. So that's that big one that we saw earlier. And then breaking out into that machine there, which holds my PFSense setup running on VMware. Okay, I hope you've learned something today. I'm Multitextback. Please like, rate, and subscribe. Any comments that you have, I'll be more than willing to give my thoughts on them. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.